So in uh, 2006, I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, working on a, another project that I had written on the life of Sam Cooke. And I was sitting uh, in a cafe with a woman who was the uh, cultural affairs director for the city of Milwaukee. And we're having a casual conversation. And she mentions to me that 30 miles north of Milwaukee was this furniture company that, um, as an incentive to sell records, got into, as an incentive to sell phonographic cabinets, got into producing records. And I'm like, that's odd. That's fascinating. So I take a trip up to Grafton, and as I was saying to uh, the gentleman earlier, uh, something took hold of me. Like, the, the story chose me somehow to, because I wasn't thinking about Paramount Records or furniture stores or any of that. That wasn't on my mind at all. But all of a sudden, my life takes a different direction. And what fascinated me most was how this all-white uh, immigrant town ushered in brought in these musicians that helped to change the landscape, in a way, of American music, uh, and how communities are forged. Uh, whether their intentions were to make money, that's obvious, they were business people. But it also allowed a sound to travel across America. And, and one of the things we deal with in the show is the idea of the train and how important the steam train engine was. Uh, at that time, it was the internet of the day. It was how information got from cities to towns across this country. So uh, I, I'm still in awe of what is happening, because part of it, I, I, in a way, I'm just listening. Uh, as a writer, I try to stay out of the way. It was the music that started speaking to me. It was these men and women whose stories were, were untold that I really wanted to focus on. Because these men and women actually, once again, they influenced, as these gentlemen will attest to, they influenced the landscape of the sound that we are benefit of being able to hear today. And so it's an homage to them, to, to America. I think to me, blues uh, music is a mirror. It holds up a mirror to America to take a look at itself. It's, it's also, to me, a kind of healing salve. It, it, it can comfort you, it can, it can make you dance, it can make you do a lot of various things, and if that sound is heard in all forms of music. So it's from that experience in 2006 that has basically changed my life, in a way, because I, I wasn't on that course as a writer. Um, I'm glad uh, Cecilia Gilbert mentioned Paramount Records and this furniture company to me sitting in that cafe, uh, and I've, I'm glad I was aware enough to kind of chase them blues, to figure out what, what this is, what is this story, and how this story relates to our lives today.